We just wrapped up our teardown of the new 15-inch MacBook Pro. With an all-too-familiar form factor, nothing's changed about how you get inside. The usual P5 rear screws secure the bottom plate, along with a few clips, and once they're freed, it slides down and off. Just like the previous version, the trackpad is easy enough to remove. It's held in place by 17 torque screws and has the Taptic engine lying beneath. The logic board comes out next and is home to the 2.2 GHz 6-core 8th generation Intel Core i7 processor, 16 GB of DDR4 SD RAM, and 250 GB of Toshiba made flash storage. Just like previous versions, the RAM and flash storage were soldered to the logic board, so making any future upgrades is impossible. We also spot the newly added T2 coprocessor chip, which controls boot and security functions. With all that soldered RAM and storage, it's a small comfort to see some modular components. The fans, headphone jack, and both USB-C ports are super easy to remove. The battery is firmly glued in place on the rear case, but does come in with 11.4 volts and 83.6 watt hours of power. Lastly, we take a look underneath the keyboard and see what may be Apple's attempt at solving the issue of unresponsive keys that's been plaguing MacBook Pro keyboards for a while now. This updated keyboard now has a silicon shield that we think should prevent dust and debris from getting into the butterfly mechanism. If you're unfamiliar with this issue, we've got a couple of videos explaining everything and we'll put links to them in the description below. With our teardown completed, it's time to talk repairability. The 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro scored a 1 out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, the trackpad can be replaced without removing the battery. But on the downside, the processor, RAM, and flash memory are soldered to the logic board. Repairs and upgrades will be impractical at best. The top case assembly, which includes the keyboard, battery, and speakers, is firmly glued in place, making all of those components hard to replace separately. And lastly, the Touch ID sensor doubles as a power switch and is paired with the T2 chip on the logic board. Fixing a broken power switch may require the help from Apple or a whole new logic board.